Change the color in Excel, it's very easy with a background option or with a font option. Everybody knows that. But it's much better if the color can appear automatically when a cell reaches a specific value. It's not very complex and I show you this in three different examples in this video. So let's start with a simple example. Here I have a list of VIN, vehicle international number, and the length of a VIN is absolutely 17 characters. So here my rule will be to test if each cell has exactly 70 characters. And how I do that? Very simply with the function len. So as you can notice, most of the time I have 17, but sometimes I have 16 or sometimes I have 18. So here the idea is instead of creating a list with a result is to do a test and if the test is true, to change the color of this cell. So first, how I convert this formula to a test? Well, it's not so complex. I just have to write equal 17 like this. And if the length of A2 equals 17, the cell returns true. And now if I copy down, you can see that each time the length is not equal to 17, the test returns false. And this step is really crucial because instead to have a formula that return a value, we return here only true or false. And this is exactly what a conditional formatting is expecting. When the result of the test will be true, you will apply your rule to apply your color. So here I return true when the length is 17 characters. So I need to do the opposite. That means return true when the length is different of 17. And to do that, I just have to change the logical test. So now you can see I have true when the length is not equal to 17. So I just simply copy this test. And now I select my range of cells where I want to apply the test. Conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula, and I paste here my formula. And I change the format when the test will be true, and I say I feel in red. And immediately, everywhere the test is true, that means when the length is different of 17, the background of the cell is now in red. And if I do another test here, I remove one character. Automatically, now the color is red. In the second example, I have a list of dates. And what I want to do is to highlight the cell for the weekend. To help me in this task, I have the function week day. Like this. And as you can notice, the value returned by this function weekday is between 1 and 7. But here there is a trick. The function weekday returned by default the value 1 for Sunday. What I want is to return the value 1 for Monday. Like that, when I will do a test greater than 5, that means for the value 6 and 7, it will be for Saturday and Sunday. So I have to change this function and to say a second parameter, Monday has a value 1 and Sunday has a value 7. So I select this option and you can see in the formula the argument is 2 now. And I copy down. So everywhere I have 6 and 7, that means here it's Saturday and here it's Sunday. So what I have to do one more time is to create a test. So as I said earlier, greater than 5. Here it's false. And everywhere when the value of weekday is greater than 5, the test is true. So once again, I just have to copy this test. And I go only in this cell this time. I don't select the whole range of cell, but I return to conditional formatting new rule and I paste the formula, I change the background to orange, and I apply 
But as you can see, nothing happened for the rest of my cell, of course, because I have selected only one cell. So I have to manage my rules and to say, apply this rule for this range of cells. And when I click on the button apply, you can see that immediately everywhere I have true, the color has changed for the weekend. Last example, and this one also is very useful because we are going to compare the amount of the invoice and the amount of the money received. If the difference is not zero, that means there is a problem somewhere. And we are going to highlight this in red. So, of course, we can create a column with the difference between the two columns, like this. Like that, we know exactly what is the difference between the two columns. But if you have a huge list of invoices, it's better to have a color when there is a problem with the invoice. And here, it's exactly the same. So I select my invoice number. I go to conditional formatting. I create a new rule. This time the rule, I write it directly. Does this one minus this one is different of zero. And when it's the case, again, in red. Okay, and I apply. But here, nothing happened, but I have here differences. So what is a mistake? In fact, here in my rule, I have let the dollar, that means absolute reference. That means the test is always focused on B2 and always focused on C2 and not on B3, C3, B4, C4, and so on. So I must remove the dollar and to do that very easily I press F4 and here again okay and when I apply you can see now everywhere the difference between these two colon is not zero the invoice number has a different color 